Hey guys, this is ZachoX, and today I'm going to go over how to create your own methods um, and your events with the user control, and then how to raise the events. So we're going to go ahead and start up with the standard EXE, and we're going to add our user control. And then I'm going to straight go into the code. Explicit. Okay. Now, to create the event, let me show first that on the form, when you try to code the um, user control, so let me close this stuff and put the user control here and then double click. Now, the user control starts out with five uh, events. You don't have anything like a click or a mouse down or a mouse up. So I'm going to show you how to add that, and then your own event too. So you notice that it's not there. You need to add a click event, maybe. All we do is put event click, and now we'll have an event click. So let me go here to the form, and let me add in the user control. we have event click. Now what if we want to add a mouse down? Then we need to copy the mouse down event. Um, so you don't want to just put mouse down. That's what this is. To bring out the control. Controls mouse down. And there it is. Okay, so what you do here is basically copy like this. You just need the parameters. So now you have your mouse down. So if I go back to the form. It's parameters. Um, now, to create our own little controls event, simply all you do is just write the same thing. Event, whatever. But even though we have the event created, we're not saying when the event will go off. So how to do this is we need to have a time that it does. So maybe when the button is clicked, that event will go off. So to do this, we need to say raise event whatever. Okay. Now where we code the, the event is in the form window when we're adding the user control. So I'm going to show that too. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this. Close this. Open this back up. Move this user control over a little bit. So you can see. Okay. So now when I click on this, um, there's a whatever in here. See? Then we can just put message box. Zach is awesome. Yeah, I am. Right? Give me another thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Now I want to run it. I click that button. It's going to raise the event, whatever, on the user control. But the event is written in the form. So I hit here. Zach is awesome. It works. So we're going to close this. And now I'm going to show how to write the method in the user control. Okay, so basically writing a method is just writing a procedure or a function. So if you've already seen those videos, then this will be pretty simple. But you need to have public. So public sub. Um, okay. Awesome. And all this is going to do is put some message box. Okay, awesome. Okay, so 
there's our first method. Then we'll create another one. Um, public function this time. Um, let's just put I there. And that's a string. And we have to return the function. I there equals hi there. So now we have here two methods in our user controller. So how do we get to them? Or how do we use them? In the form, we do the same thing. So, oops, this is not the form. Bring up the form real quick. And, okay, now I'm just going to show you where they are. So, user control, one, one. Okay, as soon as you push the period, just go down until you see your methods that you just created. Um, right here we have, okay, awesome. And, Hi there. Now, hi there is going to be a string. So, basically, if I just leave it like this, this doesn't do anything because it's just a string. It doesn't say, am I putting it on the screen? What am I doing with it? Putting it in a text box? What am I doing? Well, I'm just going to message box it. So it's going to say, get get this function, and the function is going to say, hi there. It's going to message box that. But now we're going to use another method that I created but this one is not a function it's just gonna um, do code so you can have two different methods here the function and the sub procedure okay so go ahead and run this hit the button Zach is awesome hi there and okay awesome and that's how you do it thank you for watching this video and give me comments, whatever. Um, I'm going as quick as I can again. And we'll just keep moving on. Thank you.